Who are the people that you were walking past? This is important. New it's on system. fire. Should show up in blue. Same as regular censoring. Keep an eye out for the advanced blue waveforms. Okay. What's he on about? Are you still meant to bow? Foreign royalty. What? Should I just like curse? Hang on. Have they given you the crown prince report? Well, Megan. This is Jeremy. He'll be interviewing. Is that another performance by the school or something? Okay? Who's that? Oh, that's the Jesus. He put that get up on himself. <laughs> Going in five, four, three. Welcome back. I'm Megan Wolf. Later, we have an exclusive first look at a theatrical sensation everyone's going to be talking about. But first, it's time to go over to the culture spot with lovely old Jeremy Donaldson, who's joined by a very special guest. Jeremy. Thanks, Megan. I have the honor and privilege of being joined by hip hop royalty. He's been called the son of the streets and the father of truth. Um, not sure how that works, but whatever. Let's welcome Jesus. Hi, uh, thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, it's a real honor to be here on the show, the news. You know, as a kid on the streets, I used to watch you for a window of the shop, so to be here right now is crazy. <laughs> um, you've had quite the journey to be here today. Can you tell us about it? Well, you know, I try not to, um, well, you know, the past is the past, and I don't like to dwell on it. I understand. But yeah, man, the streets is all I remember. Like, my mother donated me to a charity shop soon after. <laughs> what? Do what? Pity on me. You know, she let me sleep on a pile of crime fiction until I taught myself how to walk. Wow, that's uh, Shit, quite I cut it on one. And she died, like, died tragically. Right there in my arms, man. Right there in my arms, man. You know, I remember a tear falling as she lay there next to the used homeware. And in that moment, I became a child of the streets. I was just 18 months old. What a tale. What a tale. <laughs> your name for your direct and honest lyrics. Was your style informed by your troubled past? Oh, like I said, I uh, I try not to talk about it. It's just um, I try not to talk about it. It's just um, it's just too hard. Of course. I... But my first album is about the story of the first four times I stole. So I wouldn't <laughs> starve. A small group of infants came to see me as their de facto leader. They call me Mr. T Slice. Anyway, we were like a family. <laughs> I should, I should have gone wide on that shot. Recently, you've been quite outspoken about the government. Yeah, fuck the government. Fuck Advan. Fuck Peter Clement. What is it that you object to so vehemently? Well, you know, they stole from us. They're taking our money. Am I meant to be bleeping what the government wants me to bleep? So? Surely that's a cause close to your heart? <clears throat> yeah, nah, of course, man, very much so. Yeah. I just mean, nah, like, course, why do I have to pay for it, you know? Why do I have to pay you for don't. It, you know? People have been rehoused on property seized from the historically wealthy. Mm. And that couldn't have been you, could it? Look, yeah, <laughs> I worked hard to be here. I built this from nothing, and I deserve to be rewarded for that. Would you say you worked harder than, say, a farmer or a care worker? I don't know. But if people are taking something from my music, choose to value it, buy it, music, who's to say I don't? And no one can take that away from me. Not even to help, say, vulnerable children, Mr. G Slice. <laughs> what is it you're trying to say? I just don't understand why you've placed yourself I politically. I mean, is it ideological or is it tactical? Well, it's more of a... Or like, maybe it's hereditary. Well, like, stop trying to tie me in knots with your words, Jeremy. I let the music speak for itself. I let the music and the people itself. agree with me. And the people agree with me. Well, that remains to be seen. But you have given me a very easy Bro, now got a performance. I promise you was much more painful for me than it was for you. So here he is with his hit song. Oh, he's performing? Oh, no. Um, I'm going to do something a little different. It's a new single I've been working on. Oh, so this is uh, unapproved, is it? Yeah. You love it.
Excellent. Oh, God. Don't worry, we've got a state-of-the-art censorship system. What's the worst that could happen? So here he is with a new song. Aren't we lucky? It's Jesus! First. All right. You're gonna pay off. You're gonna pay back. Well, we're all different races from many different places. At any given moment, only one could be the greatest. So you can feel elation from your participation. Still two leaders in this motherfucking nation. Now we're getting sanctioned, talking about expansion. Why does Julie S require a massive fucking mansion? So fuck all your schemes. I don't need your freaky team. And I don't need your help to achieve my fucking dreams. So don't make a fuss when you find you're one of us Get every single one of you's a bit so pays bad. us And you can call me crazy Cause no one ever pays me But I won't waste a lifetime being motherfucking lazy I may be inventive My taste may be expensive But why would I get out of bed with no fucking incentive Although it's contravention of your obvious intention I like to eat a little of the fruits in my invention You make us the same But we're not all the same All our dreams, all our schemes, all our means are not the same the best of the praise of the crest of the wave Cause we're only equal people when we're motherfucking slaves Take this fact, gonna stain it red Gonna slam it into Peter and Clemens motherfucking head Cause he's big as shit, he's got a job, he's unfit But it's time to spawn a puzzle with a motherfucking bitch for Yeah, I ain't censoring that stuff Fuck the government. So this is for the snuff ones, the push and the shove ones, the folks to feel the burden of their motherfucking loved ones. Ones who had plenty like a motherfucking Bentley. The ones who now finding that their bank accounts are empty. The ones with aspiration, who had to flee a nation. The ones who built a business that had dreams of perspiration. There's all sorts of people, the good and the evil. It only takes a glance to see we're not all equal. You make us the same, but we're not all the same All our dreams, all our schemes, all our means are not the same And the best of the praise of the crest of the ways Cause we're only equal people when we're motherfucking slaves Gonna take this fact, gonna stain it red Gonna slam it into Peter Clemens motherfucking head Cause he's thick as shit, he's got a job he's unfit for Time to a puzzle with a motherfucking bitch for Get out of your seats, get your asses in the streets Set a fire in the building, let him feel some fucking heat Take your hate to gold getters, the squill and bed getters, and burn them on the paras of advances fucking letters. Gonna take this fact, gonna stain it red, gonna slam it into Peter Clemens' motherfucking head, cause he's thick as shit, he's got a job, he's unfit for. Time to spawn a person with a motherfucking bitch for. Chase that dream, you don't need a fucking team, and advances little glasses on as harmless as it seems, cause they're stale and corrupt, then you ain't Jesus there with his new song. Thank you so much for joining us in the studio. That, I'm sorry. Um, I might not agree with you, but I'd just like to offer you an apology. I've just been told that there was some kind of issue upstairs. And an attempt was made to censor some of your lyrics. What? Are you joking? I'd just what? like to say to joking? you and everyone at home that this was a mistake. This is absolutely ridiculous. I cannot believe this. Is absolutely ridiculous. Here at the National Nightly News, we pride ourselves on remaining neutral, unbiased, and I didn't, independent. I didn't censor most of it. I only censored swear we words. Word. We will never censor ideas. We will never censor Back to you, ideas. Megan. Wow. A bit of dangerous language there, sorry about that. <laughs> well, thank you to little Jeremy Donaldson for providing our content. Little Jeremy Coming up, Donaldson. we'll be speaking to a couple of familiar faces about their upcoming dramatic oh, outing. Don't go ad. away. We'll be right back after this. That's the ad. Jenny, this is fucking outrageous. Just to remind I'm sure now if you come with me, I really do have to ask oh, you. Oh, trust me. My father's going to hear about this. I understand. <laughs> this is unbelievable, Megan. I don't know what you're talking about, Jeremy. Every citizen gets their fair share. <laughs> A plus again. I'm so good at this.
for the week, every week, at one of our many distribution centers. Everyone will get their own chair, and no one will be left behind. So you oh, here we go. Oh, oh shit, stop it. Look at him. Who is it? If we could just get you in position. <laughs> oh, say no more. Say no more. Oh, Jeremy. that's fucking, um... Mr. Algebra. Vivian. Yeah, Algebra. And Mr. Harris, and this is Ms. Raiden. What? Philippa, please. You're back together again, eh? Who'd have thought it? Uh... Perhaps a lower order demon. <laughs> yes, it is awfully exciting, isn't it? <laughs> right, okay then. We're going live in ten seconds. Opening on camera one. Thank you. Five, four, <laughs> three. Welcome back, and no, you're not mistaken, Welcome sitting back across back from us are some very familiar faces. <laughs> you really are too kind, Megan. It was only a yogurt really commercial, kind, but I'm Megan. still proud of it. <laughs> Here to talk about his new show, we're joined by Here national to treasure Tommy show. Harris, the national, national theatre's Philip Ray, and national, national deficit Jeff Algebra. It's so lovely to have you all. Um, Tommy, would you like to tell us about the show? You know what? I'd bloody love to. It's about me. It's about my life. And where did the idea come from? So, right, picture this. Um, their legs are kimbo, mid-session, sweat is pouring out of me like an immense hog. And then Cindy comes in, she says, she says, Pete's on the phone. That's Peter Clements, the Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah, Pete's actually a really good mate of mine. Oh, is he really? Yeah, yeah, no, he comes to training sometimes. He's actually a pretty good goal sweeper. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, Pete, he says, he says, Toby, can, he thinks my name's Toby, see? He says, how would you like? to spread your message of team spirit and cooperation across this fractured nation. How would you like to really make a difference in these desperate times? What did he say? Yeah, right, yeah. So, Jeff, the question on everyone's lips is, what in God's name are you doing here? Ah, well... After the success of my debut work uh, and all the people that I've touched, of I knew that I had a, a career in theatre. Yeah? I've always been an admirer of Tommy from afar. So when my manager phoned and said that I'd been offered a gig as director, I was ecstatic. I whipped my trousers off and got straight to work. What? Why did you do that? I, I do all my best work with my trousers off. Yeah, I've been told that too. No, no, I wouldn't say so. Right, Tommy, um, oh. can you just give us a sense of what the show is actually about? Uh, it's about how hard it's been for me and some of the struggles that I've faced. It, it like, really gets into the heart of how tough it is to be me. I call it Tommy Harris, Jesus. Jesus, that was hard. Catchy. Uh, we actually have some clips of the process of what the, the fuck why um, they fucking transition yeah so the show is is, is built around uh, two of course they fucking did to me uh, it mixes scenes from my life uh, as well as epic fantasy retellings of scenes from my life but dad you promised you'd come to my graduation i'm sorry son you're an embarrassment <laughs> but dad, you promised you'd come to my graduation. Back, demon! Back to the hells! Demon, back to the hells! Philippa, um, what's it been like co-starring with Tommy Harris? I've always dreamed of treading the boards at medium scale regional theatres, Megan. And for once, this show really gives me something to sink my teeth into. Well, what's different about this show then? Tommy, uh, Mr. Harris's show really lets me show my tremendous range as an actor. I've always suffered from typecasting, forced to play the same tired characters in every god awful yogurt advert, of course, god forsaken soap opera, or yogurt legend. Pantomime. But you know, this 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 show has really let me just just go there. Jeff, the viewers at home will be dying to know exactly what is it. That you bring to the show. What is it? Oh, that good question. Uh, I think these guys would agree with me when I say that it's my uh, my steady hand on the tiller, my arm round the shoulder approach that's really brought the production from strength to strength. Absolutely right. Jeff's contributions are immeasurable. <laughs> he was our rock. Can you give us a sneak peek of anything else that might be in the show? <laughs> Yeah, all sorts, yeah. Uh, really. yeah. We've got lots of exclusive first-hand experiences of Tommy's time in the underground sports board scene. And some epic fantasy retellings of Tommy's time in the underground sports board scene. <laughs> the 
just... You'll never take the sacred pass! And am I right in saying this was officially commissioned by the government? Yeah, yeah, all, all paid for by the taxpayer, which, you know, to be honest, is actually a lifesaver, really. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that without Advance's support, we'd have had to cut the finale. Yeah. Which, frankly, would have been a travesty. Which, frankly, would have been a travesty. Oh, God, Jesus Christ! What? He did us every night. Absolutely. Every night. It's a metaphor. For what? A metaphor. For what? Death. Death. And the public are footing the bill, are they? <laughs> Too bloody right they are. Between the cost of my tour bus and the dry cleaning of my ties, I'm barely scraping a profit here. Amazing. And where can the folks at home come and see this for themselves? We're performing all over the nation. <laughs> And people can see it for absolutely free, all courtesy of Advance. Isn't that incredible, Jeremy? Yes, it's unbelievable. Yes. Well, thank you all so much for coming. Next time we see you, no doubt, you'll have taken our jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's all we have time for tonight. Join us tomorrow when I'll be interviewing the world's most attractive horse. I'm Jeremy. So Hall. true. That's and high quality. Wolf. And from all of us here, have a peaceful night. That's the ads. Let's get reset for tomorrow, please. Hey, we must stop bumping into each other like this, eh? <laughs> Hi, I'm Sophia Remington. <laughs> CEO of Remington. <laughs> and I haven't had children. Not yet, anyway. But it doesn't take a parent. Sweet.